اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پلیز ریڈ مما You are not supposed to pause in the middle. This is one single word. You have to read it in a flow. ریکو دونہ والی والی دیا 
Stopping here at the small talk. Well, minute. Yeah, good job. Well, does it, does it, does it, does it, does it, not like that. Well, does it, 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 does in the letter Dha, we place the tip of the tongue at the back side of the upper teeth gently and softly. Good job. The Prophet Sallallahu apprehensions at the time of a storm. Sayyida Aisha radiyala anha relates that whenever a strong wind bringing dense clouds starting blowing, started blowing, the Prophet Sallallahu face turned pale with the fear of Allah. He became restive and would go in and out with perturbation and would recite the following prayer. O oh my Allah, I ask of thee the good out of this wind, the good out of that which is in this wind and the good out of that which is the outcome of this wind. I seek refuge in thee from the evil of this wind, from the evil out of that which is in this wind, and from the evil out of that which is the outcome of this wind. She says, and further, when it began to rain, signs of delight appeared on his face. I said to him once, O Prophet of Allah, when clouds appear every day, everybody is happy as they foretell rain. But why is it that I see you so much perturbed at that time? He replied, O oh, Aisha, how can I feel secure that this wind does not portend Allah's wrath? The people of Ad were punished with the wind. They were happy when they beheld the gathering dense clouds believing that they brought rain but actually those clouds brought no rain but utter destruction to Ad. The Prophet ﷺ was obviously referring to the following verses of the Quran. Then when they Ad beheld a dense cloud coming toward their valleys they said here is a cloud bringing us rain nay but it is that very calamity which you did seek to hasten, a wind uh, wherein is grievous penalty, destroying all things by commandment of its Lord, and morning found them so that naught could be seen, save their dwellings, thus we treat the guilty folk. Look at the fear of Allah in the heart of a person who is the best of all creation. 
sallallahu alayhi wasallam in spite of a clear verse in the quran that allah would not punish the people so long as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was with them he has so much fear of allah in him that a strong wind reminds him of the punishment awarded to the people in the past now let us peep into our own hearts for a moment although we are fully saturated with sins yet none of the unusual phenomena this earthquake lightning etc arouses the least fear of allah in our hearts and instead of resorting to istighfar or salah at such times we only indulge in absurd investigations whenever natural disasters occur like pandemic like tsunami like wars anything which we witness in this world we have to say sorry to allah we have to ask forgiveness from allah we have to increase our prayers we have to recite the quran and recite the durood and we have to seek allah's mercy because when uh, all of these natural disasters are a sign that allah is angry on on his creation and humans as a whole on a nation as a whole has committed great sins and he is disobeying allah that is why allah is angry and that is why natural disasters occur i mean are you getting my point yeah, yeah. the five pillars of islam islam is based on five pillars the five duties muslim must do are known as the five pillars the five pillars of islam are ash-shahada the declaration of faith which is la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah there is no god worthy of worship but allah and muhammad is his messenger and if we recite it Uh, in continuous mode then it will be la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah number 2 is salah the compulsory prayer five times a day muslims pray at least five times every day number 3 is zakah payment of the purifying dues all rich muslims must pay zakah to the poor and the needy Number four is Psalm fasting in the month of Ramadan, and number five is Hajj the pilgrimage. A Muslim visits the Kaaba for performing Hajj at least once in his life if he is able to do so. These basic duties of Muslims are known as the five pillars of Islam. A building which has five pillars will stand firm if all Muslims do these five things well. Islam will be firm. A Muslim is one who submits his will to Allah. He accepts and believes that Allah exists, and he is one. He also accepts. Uh, he also accepts and believes that Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is the messenger and servant of Allah. Okay, Amina, please read it. Yai Madda, oh Madda letters. Yai Madda. If any letter has a kasra below it, and next to it is ya with sukun, then we have to stretch the final sound for one second. Yai Madda and standing kasra look different but create the same sound. So read it. Um, Waki Don. Good job. 
Aleph mother. If any letter has a fatha on it and next to it is an alif without any sign, then we stretch the final sound for one second. Alif mother and standing fatha look different, but create the same sound. Good job. Read this. Uh, also, I have a question. Go on. If um a letter has a like say like mean has a fatha on it. Yeah. The next letter is uh, is um Hamza with the queen. Then mm. we will is make that the, the same sound. thing? No, 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 no. We'll make the sound jerky. For oh, example, yeah, like, ma. Yeah. yeah, ma like that. So if we it put sakun be... here, it will be ma jidun. But um, it's but there's no sakun, so it's ma jidun. That's it. Good job. And the first one is wa wa hidun. Yeah. Wow, mother. If any letter has a mother, has a <laughs> dhamma. Like, dhamma. Yeah. Han. And next to it is a wow with sakun. Then we have to stretch the final sound for one second. Wow, mother and reverse dhamma look different, but they create the same sound. Kula. Good job. Yailin. Any letter has fatha on it, and next to it is ya with sukun, then we don't stretch the final sound. Wakaidun. Wolin. If any letter has a fatha on it, and next to it is wa with sukun, then we don't stretch the final sound. Oh, la. Good job. Kalkala. Kalkala letters are um, dal, jim, from the right side. Yeah. Ba, jim, da. Yeah. yeah. Because Arabic is from. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, if there is sukun on any of these letters, then we pronounce the a ah or a ah sound no, no, well. No, 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 no. Then we produce the a. Uh. Or all sound. Uh. The the uh or all sound while connecting them to the letter behind it. For ta, the sound is a uh, because the sound for and for qaf ba jim dal is the uh sound. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. The uh sound. All right. Please please read it. Hi tabu. No, ta is a heavy letter, remember? A tobu. Yeah. Ma masadu. Yeah. Bi bil haka. Yeah. Samadu. Yeah. If if the throat letters are ain. Ha. No. No, I'm no, sorry. Hamza, ha, ein, ha, and then ein, ha. Good job. Version one. If noon has a sukun on it, and next to it is a letter which is not from the throat letter group, then we apply if ha on noon. The three elements of if are read the sound of noon in your nose. Just the sound for one second. Don't touch your tongue anywhere while applying ifqa. Reading the noon sound in your nose. Version 2. If any letter has double fa- Oh, wait, I forgot to read. Min- Min- ho, Min- Kulli- No. You read oh. ikhfa, but you didn't apply ikhfa. You read the rule, but you didn't apply the rule here. Why? Min- Min- Kulli- Yeah. Version- Version two. If any letter has double fatha, double kasra, or double dhamma, and next to it is a letter which is not from the throat letters group, then also we apply ikhla. Hmm. So read these two words. Oh. min Kulli. Gula min kulli. 
That's a good job. You can call Shamir now. It's his turn. Oh, um, he's at his squash 